So this girl, her name's Samantha, and Samantha really wants a relationship with her father. See, she grew up without a dad. He had abandoned her and her mom when she was born. But then she grows up, and she eventually turns 17. And she finally talks her mom into introducing her to her biological dad, this guy, Travis. So Samantha and Travis meet, and they really hit it off. And not only that, it turns out Travis has another daughter who's around Samantha's age. So now Samantha has this really cool half-sister, who we'll just call half-sister. So Samantha is super happy, and she starts spending a lot of time with them, and she and her dad grow really close. In fact, I don't think a father and daughter could be any closer than these two are. Until about three years go by, and Samantha's around 21 now. And I guess at some point, half-sister starts getting upset, maybe even a little jealous. See, she isn't used to having to share her dad with anyone. And as time goes by, she doesn't like all the time dad is spending with Samantha. And so half-sister and Samantha, they start bickering about it. And they decide they want to know which one of them their dad likes more. Now, I'm not sure exactly who comes up with the specific idea, but they end up in a competition to see which one of them can seduce their father first. So then, boom, the competition starts, and we are off to the races. And I guess Samantha cozies up to Travis, and as they grow closer and closer, they start flirting a little. And soon, disgustingly, Samantha wins the bet because they smash. Yeah! Congratulations? So yes, Samantha and Travis smash, and I guess half-sister is disappointed because she didn't win? I, I don't know. But regardless, it's not over. Because once this happens, rumors start getting around. I guess it's because Travis and Samantha were posting a lot of photos together on Facebook, like, look at how cute we are, or whatever. But pretty quickly, everyone around them suspects the worst. And they're all like, ugh, this is f up. And then word gets back to Samantha's mom. And Samantha's mom just reports both of them to the police. Because in most states, these kinds of relationships are illegal. So then police, they start investigating. So then someone, I don't know who, tips Travis and Samantha off. And they let them know that police are low-key investigating them. So then Travis and Samantha do the only thing they can think of to get themselves out of trouble. They quickly go and get married. Gross. Maybe they thought it would make their relationship seem more legit in the eyes of the law. I don't know, but that's not the way the law works. So them getting married definitely doesn't stop the police. In fact, police bring them in and question them about their relationship. They're like, you know, the two of you smashing is illegal, right? And Travis is like, nah, we're not actually biologically related. So then the police do a DNA test on them and the results come back and they show that Travis is full of shit. He is, in fact, Samantha's biological father. So they arrest Travis and Samantha, and they're charged with incest. Here's his mugshot. Here's hers. And Travis is sentenced to two years in prison, while Samantha is sentenced to nine months probation, and both of them are legally banned from contacting one another. And this all happened in Nebraska, so shout out to Nebraska for being gross.